Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to UVU Theater's production of The Mikado. I'm James Arrington. I'm the director, and I'm the one responsible for bringing the show in. And uh, this has been a really hurly-burly day, and I have a kind of a strange announcement to make to you. Um, the cast that we brought in to play the leads uh, and the small orchestra that was with them all decided to go on a bus trip to the Canyonlands, and they broke down. So <laughs> they are not here. Uh, and normally, we would have canceled the show. However, as you can see, we're going to be filming the show. And so we have decided we're going to go on. We've worked with the, the understudies who are here and ready to go. And they feel very good about what they're going to do. So what you will see tonight is what the understudies produce. And uh, they're thoroughly trained professionals. I think you'll enjoy it. So. Uh, you, we also want to make sure that you understand that the, the professionals will be back tomorrow night. You might want to come and see that. But at any rate, <laughs> you'll see what, what they're going to do tonight, and it'll be a great show for you. Uh, since I'm, oh, let's see. In your programs, the big pictures are the professionals, and the little ones are the understudies, just so you can figure that out. I think you will. At any rate, um, I'll just go ahead and say what the stage manager would normally say, which is, uh, if there's a fire, run the other direction. Uh, that seems fairly obvious. However, in fire situations, some people get that wrong. Uh, and uh, um, you can't use your cameras uh, or any recording device. We're doing the recording tonight, not you, and we're paying for it, and you aren't. So please don't use your recording devices. And um, let's see. Um, oh, phones. Please turn off your phones. Let's see those phones. Get those phones up and turn them off. We don't want to have the phone going off anywhere so that it ruins the production. So uh, thank you for that. And I'll uh, keep the aisles clear. There are. Th you have your phone on? Is that your phone? <laughs> what? What? They're where? Well, we know they're not here. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't help to try and hurry back because everybody's already in costume. <laughs> Listen, you'll get your shot tomorrow night, okay? <laughs> no, you're going to miss the filming too. I'm sorry. Well, it's your fault. I know it's glorious down there. Enjoy it while you've got it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and produce the Mikado for you tonight. Please enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much.
Match the door shut. Okay, give me the sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. You give me the sword. Oh, no, no. Go around. Just go around. Why, why, why is that? Let's try to get the Wait, wait, wait. track. Gentleman, I pray you tell me where the gentle maiden dwelleth named Yum Yum. The ward of Kaka, in pity speak, oh speak, I pray you. Why, who are you to ask this question? <laughs> Come, gather round me, and I'll tell you. <laughs> a wandering minstrel, I, a thing of shreds and patches, of ballad songs and snatches, and dreamy lullaby. My catalog is long through every passion ranging, and to your humors changing, I tune my supple song. I tune my supple song. Rehearsal tracks. 
Sasha. Are you in sentimental mood? I'll sigh with you. Pathetic tears, my cheeks bid you. But patriotic sentiment is wanted. I patriotic colors cut and dried. For wherever a country's banner may be planted, all other local banners are defied. The warriors in serried ranks assembled never waver or conceal it if they do. And I shouldn't be surprised if nations trembled before the mighty troops. The troops of Titi Poo. We shouldn't be surprised if nations tremble, tremble with alarm before the mighty troops, the troops of Titi Poo. And if you call for a song of the sea, we'll heave the capstan round with the yo heave ho and the wind is free. Her anchors a trip and the hounds a lee. Hurrah for the homeward bound. Yo ho heave ho, hurrah for the homeward bound. Howling breeze may tickle a landman's taste, but the happiest hour a sailor sees is when he's down at an inland town with a Nancy on his knees. Yo -ho, and his arm around her waist. Then man the caps and off we go as a fiddler swings us round with a yo he ho and a raw below, a for the homeward bound with a yo he ho. A wandering minstrel eye, a thing of shreds and patches of ballad songs and snatches and dreamy lullaby and dreamy What is your what is your business? Yum! What is your business with Coco? Yum yum! Yum yum! Louder! Yum yum! What is your business with yum yum? I'll tell you. A year ago, I was a member of the Titipu Town Band. It was my duty to take the cap round for contributions. While discharging this delicate office, I saw yum yum. We loved each other at once, but she was betrothed to her guardian, Coco, a cheap tailor, oh. and I saw that my suit was hopeless. Overwhelmed with despair, I quitted the town. Judge of my delight when I heard a month ago that Coco had been condemned to death for flirting. Oh. <laughs> I hurried back at once in the hope of finding Yum Yum at liberty to listen to my protestations. It is true. It is yes. True. It is true. It is true. That Coco was condemned to death for flirting. 
But he was retrieved, <laughs> retrieved <gasps> at the last mo moment and raised to the exalted rank of the Lord High Executioner. Under the following... Under the following remarkable circumstance, circumstance. Please do go on. Explain further this. I don't know the worst. Don't. Tell you. I don't know this. I don't know this. <laughs> the great Mercado, virtuous man, when he to rule the land began, resolved to try a plan whereby young men might best be steady. Decreed in words to see that all who flirted, leered, or winked, unless can you be Ali. Forthwith be beheaded, beheaded, beheaded. Forthwith be beheaded. That he was right to so decree. I am right, and you are right, and all is right as right can be. And you are right, and we are right, and all is right as right as right can be. And all is right as right can be. <laughs> great dismay throughout the land for young and old and shy and bold were equally affected. Who wait to roll in high for free the non communal silence thereupon condemned to die? He usually objected, objected, objected. Objected. I expect that he was dead, so I'm dead. Everything is quite correct. And you are right, and we are right, and everything is quite, is quite correct. And everything is quite correct. All is quite correct. And so he straight let out on bail a convict from the county jail whose head was next on some pretext condemned it to be who's next to be decapitated cannot cut off another's head until he's cut his own off his own off his own off until he's cut his own off You'll say to argue in this kind of get over. And I am right, and you are right, and everything is over. You are right, and we are right, and all is right. And all is right, and we are right. And all is right, and we are right. Coco, the cheap tailor, Lord High Executioner of Titipu. Why, that's the highest rank here in Titipu that a citizen might attain through various sorts of occupation. Oh, it is! Uh, Our logical Mikado, knowing no moral difference between uh, the dignified <laughs> judge who can condemn the criminal to die and the industrious mechanical carries out the sentence, has rolled the two officers into one. And now every judge is his own executioner. Ah, oh, how good of you, for I see that you're a nobleman of the highest rank. Don't to mention condescend it. To I am, in point of fact, a particularly hearty and exclusive personage of pre-Adamite ancestral descent. You will understand this when I tell you that I can trace my ancestry back to a primordial, protoplasmal, atomic globule. Consequently, my family pride is something inconceivable. I can't help it. I was born sneering. But I do struggle hard to overcome this defect. I mortify my pride continually. When all the great officers of state resigned in a body because they were too proud to serve under an ex-tailor, did I not accept all their posts at once?
Did I? Did I? Did I not accept all their posts at once? I don't know. Yes. 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 And with the yes, and with the salaries attached to them, um, you did accept all their posts you, at once, and you. with the it salaries. It is. It is. <laughs> Consequently, it is my degrading duty to serve this upstart as First Lord of the Treasury, Lord Chief Justice, Commander-in-Chief, Lord High, Admiral, Master of the Buckhounds, Groom of the Backstairs, Archbishop of Titipu, and Lord Mayor, uh, both acting and elect, and at a salary, a poobah paid for his services. I, a salaried minion. But I do it. It revolts me, but I do it. And it does you credit. Oh, but I don't stop at that. I go and dine with the middle class on reasonable terms. I dance at cheap suburban parties for a moderate fee. I accept refreshment at any hand, however lowly. I also retail state secrets for a very low figure. For instance, any further information about Yum Yum would come under the head of a state secret Ah, yes, another insult, and I think a light one. <laughs> young man despair, likewise go to, yum yum the fair, you must not woo. It will not do, I'm sorry for you, you were very imperfect ablutioner. This very day from school, yum yum, will wend away and home would come with a beat of drum and a rum tum tum to wed the Lord High Executioner. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets bray, and they'll cut a dash on their wedding day. She'll tottle away, as Oliver, with the Lord High Executioner. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets bray, and they'll cut a dash on their wedding day. He'll toddle away as Oliver with the Lord High Executioner. It's a hopeless case, as you may see, but in your place, away I'd flee, but don't blame me, I'm sorry to be of your pleasure, a diminutioner. They'll vow their pact extremely soon. In point of fact, this afternoon, her honeymoon with that buffoon at seven commences, so you shun her. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets bray, and they'll cut a dash on their wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of her with the Lord High Executioner. And the brass will crash, and the trumpets bray, and they'll cut a dash on their wedding day. She'll toddle away as all of her with the Lord High Executioner. Have I traveled for a month or nearly to learn that yum yum, whom I love so dearly? The state to Coco is to be united. The fact appears to be as you recited. Ah, yes. But here he comes, he could 
Right as suits his station He'll give you any further information Behold the Lord High Executioner, a personage of noble rank and title, a dignified and potent officer, whose functions are particularly vital. Defer, defer to the Lord High Executioner. Defer, defer. Taken from the county jail by a set of curious chances, liberated then on bail, on recognizances, wafted by a favoring gale, as one sometimes is in trances, to a height that few can scale. Stay by long and weary dances, surely never had a male. Under such like circumstances, so adventurous a tale, which may rank with most romances. Taken from the county jail, the county jail. by a set of curious chances. Surely never had a man on so adventurous a tale. Defer, defer to the Lord High Executioner. Defer, defer. Gentlemen, I am much touched by this reception. I can only trust that by strict attention to duty, I shall ensure continuance of those favors which it shall be ever my study to deserve. Mm. If I should be called upon to act professionally, I am happy to think that there will be no difficulty in finding plenty of people whose loss will be a distinct gain to society at large. <laughs> As some day it may happen that a victim must be found. I've got a little list, I've got a little list of society offenders who might well be underground and who never would be missed, who never will be missed. There's the pestilential nuisances who write for autographs, all persons who have flabby hands and irritating laughs, all persons who in shaking hands shake hands with you like that, and those who eat too much and make America look fat, and all those still remaining as Obama optimists, why must they still insist? I've got them on the list. He's got them on the list. He's got them on the list, and they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. There's the folks who post on Facebook all their thoughts on gun control, and the gynecologist, oh. I've got him on the list, and the people on the bus who only hable in Espanol. They never would be missed. Mm. They never would be missed. The idiot who praises with enthusiastic tone All centuries but this and every country but his own The blondy bimbo starlet with chihuahuas in her purse Old women who keep coupons in their bags or even worse And the BYU new freshman who never has been kissed I don't think they'd be missed, those strict religionists He's got them on the list He's got them on the list, and they'll none of them be missed. Those strict religionists. 
all those politicians should be blown to smithereens. <laughs> TV polygamists, oh. I've got them on the list. And noisy, nosy neighbors with their needy tweeting teens. They never would be missed. They never would be missed. Whiny, mean ex-girlfriends who just leave you in the lurch. And feminist-empowered girls who wear their pants to church. Oh. Harry Potter fans who say they root for you-know-who. The task of filling up the rest I'd rather leave to you. But it really doesn't matter whom you put up on the list. For they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. You may put them on the list. You, you may, may put them on the list. And they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. Hmm. Very good list, sir. Very good. Poobah, it seems the festivities in connection with my approach and marriage must last a week. I should like to do it handsomely and would like to consult you as to the amount out to spend upon them. Certainly. In which of my capacities as First Lord of the Treasury, Lord, uh, Lord Chancellor, uh, Attorney General, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Privy Purse or... Private secretary is in there somewhere. Oh, suppose we say as private secretary. Ah, speaking as your private secretary, I should say that as the city will have to pay for it, don't stint yourself, do it well. Ah, exactly, as the city will have to pay for it, that is your advice. <laughs> as private secretary, of course, you will understand that as Chancellor of the Exchequer, I am bound to see the due economy is observed. Oh, but you just said don't stint yourself, do it well. As private secretary. And now you say that due economy must be observed. As chancellor of the exchequer. I see. Uh, come over here where the chancellor can't hear us. Now, as my solicitor, hmm. how do you advise me to deal with this difficulty? As your solicitor, I should have no hesitation in saying chance it. Thank you, I will. If it were not that as Lord Chief Justice, I am bound to see that the law is not violated. I see. Come over here where the Lord Chief Justice can't hear us. Now, as First Lord of the Treasury. <laughs> yes, as First Lord of the Treasury. First Lord, yes. I could propose a special vote that would cover all expenses. If it were not that as leader of the opposition, I should resist it tooth and nail. Or as Paymaster General, I could so cook the accounts that as Lord High Auditor, I should never discover the fraud. <laughs> but then as Archbishop of Titipu. It would be, be my duty to denounce my dishonesty and get myself into my own custody as First Commissioner of the Police. That's extremely awkward. <laughs> I don't say that all these distinguished people couldn't be squared, you know. Oh. But it would be right to tell you that none of them will be sufficiently degraded in their own estimation unless they are insulted with a very considerable... Bribe. Ah, uh -huh. the matter shall have my careful consideration, but my bride and her sisters approach, and any little compliment on your part, such as an abject grovel in characteristic Japanese attitude, would be esteemed a favor. No money, no grovel. <laughs> Shall we
Chamberlain? I have known it done. Fortune to love your word, yum yum. Oh, I know I deserve your anger. Anger? <laughs> Not a bit, my boy. Why, I love her myself. <laughs> Charming little thing, isn't she? Pretty eyes, nice hair, taking little thing all together. Very glad to have my opinion backed by a competent authority. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> Take him away. <coughs> the sugar. Oh. <laughs> oh. I beg your pardon, but who is this? Go away there, little girls. Can't talk to little girls like you. Go away there, dear. Allow me to present you, Puba. These are my three wards. The one in the middle is my brad What do you want me to do with them? Mind, I will not kiss them. No, you needn't kiss them. A little vow, a mere nothing. You needn't mean it, you know. Those against the grave. They are not young ladies, they are young persons. Oh, come, come, make an effort. There's a good nobleman. Well, I shan't mean it. <coughs> How do you do, little girl? Oh, very good. How do you do? <laughs> I'm not in the habit of saying this to anybody who knows the rake of a stockbroker. Don't laugh at him. He can't help it. He's under treatment for it. <laughs> yum, yum! At last we are alone. I have sought you night and day for three weeks in the belief that your guardian was beheaded. And now I find that you're about to be married to him this afternoon. Oh, alas, yes. But you do not love him? Alas, no. Modified rapture. <laughs> Why, then, do you not refuse him? Well, what good would that do? He's my guardian, and he'd never let me marry you. <laughs> but I would wait 
Until you are of age. But do you forget that in Japan, girls do not arrive at years of discretion until they are 50? Ah, huh. uh, yes, from 17 to 49 are considered years of indiscretion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, besides, a wandering minstrel who plays a wind instrument outside of tea houses is hardly a fitting husband for the ward of a Lord High Executioner. But shall I tell her? Yes, she will not betray me. What if it should prove that, after all, I am no magician musician? Mm. Well, I was sort of it directly I heard you play. <laughs> what if it should prove that, after all, I am none other than the son of His Majesty the Mikado? <laughs> the son of the Mikado? Mm. Oh! But, but why is your highness disguised? And what has your highness done? And will your highness promise never to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> Some years ago, I had the misfortune to captivate Katisha, a wealthy elderly lady of my father's court. She misconstrued my customary affability into expressions of affection and claimed me in marriage under my father's law. My father ordered me to marry her within a week or perish ignominiously on the scaffold. That very night, I fled his court and assuming the disguise of a second trombone, I joined the band in which you found me when I had the happiness of seeing you. <laughs> if you please, your highness had better not come too near. The laws against flirting are excessively severe. But we are quite alone. <laughs> and no one can see us. Still, that don't make it right. The flirt is capital. It is capital. And we must obey the law. Deuce take the law! I wish it would. But it won't. <gasps> <laughs> Why, if it were not for that, how happy we might be! Too happy indeed! Why, if it were not for the law, we should now be sitting side by side, like that. Instead of being obliged to sit half a mile up, like that. We should be gazing into each other's eyes, like that. Mm. Breathing sighs of unutterable love. <sighs> Like that. With our arms round each other's waists. Like that. <gasps> yes, if it wasn't for the law. If it wasn't for the law. Of course, we'd never do anything of the kind. Not for the world. Being engaged to Coco, you know. Being engaged to Coco, I know. <laughs> Were you not to Coco blighted, I would say in tender tone, Loved one, let us be united, Let us be each other's own. I would merge all rank and station, Worldly sneers are not to us, and to mark all admiration, I would kiss you fondly thus. We I would kiss me you fondly thus. But as I'm engaged to Coco to express my love con Foco, would be safe if I no Choco. For that I should get Toko, 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 But in spite of all temptation, such a theme I'll not discuss, and on no consideration will I kiss you fondly thus. Fondly thus. Let me make it clear to you, this is what I'll never do. This, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, this is what I'll never, never do. This, oh, this, oh, this, oh, this, this is what I'll never do. He'll never do. I'll never do. He'll never do. Oh, this, this. Is what I'll never, never do. <laughs> Here. 
there she goes, to think how entirely my future happiness is wrapped up in that little parcel. <laughs> really, it hardly seems worthwhile. Oh, matrimony. It is a delight and a great pleasure of... Now what is it, sir? Can't you see I'm soliloquizing? You... Oh, you have interrupted an apostrophe, sir. I come bearing a letter from the Mikado. A letter from the Mikado? What in the world can he have to say to me? Oh, Gorito Ikairu, Jairu Itai Karo, Gori Pokemon, Karo Naruto, Naruto Kaishu, Ice Cream Otogo, Gorito Toyota, Mitsubishi. Oh! Here it is at last. I knew it would come sooner or later. The Mikado is struck by the fact that no executions have taken place in Titipun over a year and decrees that unless somebody is executed within a month, the post of Lord High Executioner shall be abolished and the city reduced to the rank of a village. <gasps> <gasps> but that will leave us all in irretrievable ruin. Yes, there's no help for it. I shall have to execute somebody at once. The only question is, who shall it be? Well, it seems unkind to say so, but as you're already under the sentence of death for flirting, everything seems to point to you. To me? What are you talking about? I can't execute myself. Why not? Why not? Uh, because in the first place, self-decapitation is an extremely difficult, not to say dangerous, thing to attempt. And the second, it's suicide, and suicide is a capital offense. That is so, no doubt. Besides, I don't see how a man can cut off his own head. A man might try. <laughs> Not even if he only succeeded in cutting it half off, that would be something. Yes. It would be taken as an earnest your desire to comply with the imperial will. No. No, pardon me, but there I am at it. As official headsman, my reputation is at stake, and I cannot consent to embark on a professional operation unless I see my way to a successful result. This professional conscientiousness is highly credible to you, but it places us all in an awkward position. My good sir, the awkwardness of your position is grace itself when compared with that of a man engaged in the act of cutting off his own head. Why not find a substitute? Substitute. Oh, certainly. Nothing easier. Puba, I appoint you Lord High Substitute. I should be delighted. <laughs> Such an appointment would help me realize my fondest dream. But no, at any sacrifice, I must set bounds to my insatiable ambition. <laughs> I am so proud, if I allowed my family pride to be my guide. I'd volunteer to quit this sphere instead of you in a minute or two. But family pride must be denied and set aside and mortified and mortified. My brain it teems with endless scheme for good and new for titty poo, for titty poo. But if I flit the benefit that I defuse, the town would lose. Now every man to aid his clan should plot and plan as best he can. I heard one day a gentleman say that criminals who are cut in two can hardly feel the fatal steel and so are slain, are slain without much pain. If this is true, it's jolly for you. Your courage screw to bid us adieu. I am so proud. My brain if I allow one day my family cry to a god in two and pie. But if I fail, I'll be a slave. I'm a slave without a fear. Now every time we go in a minute or two. And so, although I'm ready to go, yet recollect what disrespected, I neglect to thus affect this aim direct. So I object. And so, although I wish to go, and greatly pine to brightly shine and take the line of a hero fine with grief condign, 
I must decline And go and show both friend and foe How much you dare, I'm quite aware It's your affair, yet I declare I take your oh. share, but I don't much care I must so I decline I take your share, but I don't I take your share, but I don't I take your share, but I don't I take so I object, so I object to sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock Awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock From a chip and chip chopper on a big black block To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock Awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock From a chip and chip chopper on a big black block A dull, dark dock, a lifelong lock A short, sharp shock, a big black block To sit in solemn silence in a pestilential prison And awaiting the sensation from a chip and chip Chippy Chopper on a big black block. <laughs> but this is simply appalling. I who allowed myself to be respited at the last moment simply in order to benefit my town, I'm now required to die within a month, and that by a man whom I've loaded with honours. Oh, is this public gratitude? Is this the sort of thing that a man can... Now go away, sir! Am I never to be permitted to soliloquise? Oh, go on! <laughs> Don't mind me! What are you going to do with that rope? I'm about to terminate an unendurable existence. Uh, terminate your <gasps> existence? Nonsense. What for? Because you're about to marry the girl I adore. Uh, nonsense. I can't allow that. I I'm a humane man, and if you attempt anything of the kind, I shall order your instant arrest. Come, sir. Desist at once, or I summon my guard. That's absurd. <laughs> if you attempt to raise an alarm, I instantly perform the happy dispatch. With the stagger! Ah, no! No! Oh! This is horrible! Why, you cold-blooded scoundrel! Are you aware that in taking your own life, you're committing a, a crime? Which... which... we... Oh... Substitute! <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, is it absolutely certain you are resolved to die? Absolutely. Will nothing whatever shake your determination? Nothing. Threats, entreaties, prayers, all useless. All my mind is made up. Then, if you really mean what you say, and if you really are resolved to die, and if nothing whatever will shake your determination, then don't spoil yourself by committing suicide, but be beheaded handsomely at the hand of the public executioner. I don't see how it would benefit me. Uh, you, you don't. <laughs> Observe. Uh, you'll have a month to live, and you'll live like a fighting cock at my expense. <sighs> then, when the day comes, there'll be a grand public ceremonial. Nobody, whatever, will deprive you of that distinction. Mm. Uh, you'll be the central figure. There'll be a, a procession, bands, dead march, bells tolling, all the girls in tears, yum yum distracted. <laughs> then, uh, when it's all over, general rejoicings and Play of fireworks in the evening. You won't see them, but they'll be there all the same. Do you think Yum Yum will really be distracted at my death? I'm convinced of it. Oh. Ah, she's the most tender hearted creature alive. Oh. I should be sorry to cause her pain. Perhaps, after all, if I were to withdraw from Japan and travel in Europe for a couple of years, I might contrive to forget her. Oh, I don't think you could forget Yum Yum so easily. Mm. Besides, what is worse than a love-blighted life? True. Life without yum-yum. Why, the idea seems absurd. Yet, there are a good many people in this world who have to endure it. Poor devils, yes. You are very wise not to be of their number. <laughs> I won't be of their number. Oh, noble fellow! <laughs> I'll tell you how we'll manage it. Let me marry Yum Yum tomorrow, and in a month you may what? behead me! No! No, I draw the line at Yum Yum! Very good. If you can draw the line, then so can I! Uh, uh, stop! Stop! Wait! Wait a minute! Wait! Wait! Uh, uh, how am I to consent to your marrying Yum Yum? Do you need help? <laughs> ah! oh! How am I to consent to your marrying Yum Yum when I'm to marry her myself? My good friend, she'll be a widow in a month! And you can marry her then?
It's true, actually. I quite see that. Oh, but dear me, my position in the next month will be most unpleasant. Most unpleasant! Not half so unpleasant as my position at the end of it! <laughs> well, dear me. All right, uh, I agree. Mm -hmm. After all, it's only putting off my wedding for a month. A month. But uh, you, you mustn't persuade her against me, will you? You see, she's been taught to be my wife. She's been brought up to regard me as a wise and a good man. And I shouldn't like her views on that point disturbed. Ah, yes. Trust me, she shall never learn the truth from me. <laughs> Come here, let's talk about John's ticket. No, have you ever been to see an execution? No. See, I've never... Congratulate me, gentlemen, I found a volunteer. The Japanese equivalent for him, him, him. Tis Nanky Poo, Nanky Poo. I think he'll do. Yes, yes, he'll do. He yields his life if I yum yum surrender. Now I adore that girl with passion tender and could not leave her with a ready will nor her a lot if I did not adore myself with passion tendra still with passion tendra still Ah oh, oh, yes, he loves himself with passion tendra still Take her, she's yours <laughs> The threatened cloud has passed away. What though the night may come too soon? Let the month of afternoon. Then let the throng of joy advance with laughing song and merry dance. Let the throng of joy advance with laughing song and merry dance. With laughing song and merry dance. With laughing song. With joy a shout, with joy a shout and ringing cheer. A day, a week, a month, a year. Life's even tide comes much too soon. You'll live at least a honeymoon. Then let the throng of joy advance with laughing song and merry dance. Then let the throng of joy advance with laughing song and merry dance. With laughing song and merry dance. With laughing song. As in a month you've got to die If Coco tells us true T'war empty compliment to cry Long life to Nakey Poo but as one month you'll have to live as fellow citizen, this toast with three times three will give long life. Long life. 
to you. Long life to you. Long life to you. Your LLC assist me, all of you. I claim my perjured lover, Nanky Poo. Oh, fool to shun delight that never. Katisha, the maid of whom I told you. No, you shall not go. These arms shall thus enfold. Mm. Oh, fool that flees my hollow joy. Oh, blind that sees no equipoise. Oh, rash that charges from half the whole. Grudges the light is all the heart unbind, O oh fool, O oh blind. Give me my place, O oh rash, O oh base. Thy heart and bind, give me my place, O oh fool, O oh blind, O oh rash, O oh base. Thy heart unbind, give me, give me. Serves. Bright eyes of foolish heroic nerves. Rose lips has called or laid in years. Smooth the tongue that one is who rightly hears. The doom is nigh, pink cheeks, bright eyes. Thy nail is wrung, rose lips, smooth tongue. Thy doom is nigh, thy nail is wrung, pink cheeks, Thy doom is now Thy nail, thy nail is wrong It's through her tail, thy nail is wrong Pink cheeks, bright eyes, rose lips, smooth tongue Thy doom is wrong It's through her tail, thy nail is wrong
and gone in silent sadness I live alone oh my god One, this insult oh, you have in vain for mercy on your knees, you'll sue. I'll tear the mask from your disguising. Here comes the blow. Prepare yourself for new surprises. I'll foil my foe. No man shall he, despite bravado. <laughs> I know he is the son of the earth. In vain you interrupt with this tornado. He is the only son of the Um, I need to make an announcement. <laughs> Those people are late. <laughs> So's that person. 
That person's very late. And don't mess with him, he's mean. Okay, um, Mr. Ron Price Jr., I need you to acknowledge yourself in the audience. Uh, will you please go backstage? The stage manager would like to speak with you, please. I don't know. Stage manager wants to talk to you. What you and need <laughs> people what? The, no, yeah, I'm not getting right. on stage with them shh, people. Shh, shh. <laughs> uh, I wanted to try out my new app called the Laughability or Laughometer, and so we which measures laughter. And so when I say three, I want you to laugh, uh, and we'll check you out. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. That was goofy galumphing. So that's pretty good for the second act. Okay, we'll go ahead with it. Thank you very much, enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, Mr. Ron Price Jr., a friend of the company, will this evening be making his first ever onstage debut, assuming the role of the Mikado of Japan. <laughs> Oh, yes. 
I am indeed beautiful. <laughs> Sometimes I sit and wonder in my artless Japanese way. Why it is that I am so much more attractive than anybody in the whole world? <laughs> is this vanity? No, no, <laughs> no. Nature is lovely and rejoices in her loveliness. I am a child of nature and look after my mother. In all but perfection. In all but perfection? Yes, for it is indeed a drawback that your husband is to be beheaded. Oh! oh, oh. I don't know about that. It all depends. Oh. Oh. Well, I think it's very indelicate of you to refer to such a subject on such a day. And my married happiness is to be, to be. Cut off. Cut short. <laughs> Cut short in a month. Can't you let me forget oh. it? <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum in tears and on her wedding morn. Yes, they've been reminding me that in a month you're to be beheaded. Yes, we've been reminding her that you're to be beheaded. Oh. It's true, you know, you are to be beheaded. Now, oh. some bridegrooms would be depressed by this sort of thing. A month 
Well, what's a month? All these divisions of time are purely arbitrary. Who says 24 hours make a day? Well, there is a popular impression to that effect. Then we'll redo it. We'll call each second a minute, each minute an hour, each hour a month, and each month a year. At that rate, we've about 30 years of married happiness together. Oh. Oh. And at that rate, this meeting has already lasted three, four, four hours and three quarters. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> How time flies when one is thoroughly enjoying oneself. That's the way to look at it. Don't let's be downhearted. There's a silver lining to every cloud. What are you doing? What is going on? Brightly dawns our wedding day. Joyous are we give thee greeting. Whither, whither art thou? Fickle moment, prithee stay. Fickle moment, prithee stay. All the mortal joys be hollow. Pleasures come if sorrows follow. Though the toxins sound their long ending. We're distressing you. Never mind that. I must get used to it. Only please, do it by degrees. Begin by putting your arm around her waist. Ah! Oh. Let me get used to that first. Oh, well, wouldn't you like to retire? It was pain to see us so affectionate together. Just keep Ah. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. This is very painful, but I must get used to it. Now oblige me by, by allowing her head to rest upon your shoulder. Like that? Oh, I'm much obliged to you. Huh. Now, kiss her. Huh. Kiss her. Kiss her! Oh, oh, oh! Did you kiss her? Yes. Oh! Thank you! <laughs> Simple torture! Oh, come, come, bear up. It's only for a month. No, it's no use deluding oneself with false hope. What, what do you mean? mean? Oh, my child, my poor child. How shall I break it to her? My little bride that was it to have been. Was to have been? Yes, it never shall be mine. What? I'm so glad. I've just ascertained that by the Makoto's law, when a married man is beheaded, his wife is buried alive. Buried alive? Buried alive. It is a most unpleasant death. But whom did you get that from? Oh, from Pooba. He's my solicitor. Oh. oh, but he may be mistaken. So I thought. So I consulted the Attorney General, the Lord Ch Chancellor, the Master of the Rolls, the Secretary of the Treasury, and the Chief Commissioner. They're all of the same opinion. Never knew such unanimity on a point of law in my life. But stop a bit. This law has never been put into force. So, 
Yes, uh, you see, flirting is the only crime punishable by decapitation, and married men never flirt. Uh, of course they don't. I quite forgot that. Well, I suppose that I may take it that my dream of happiness is at an end. Oh, darling, oh. I don't mean to appear selfish, and I love you with all my heart. Oh. But when I agreed to marry you, my own, <laughs> I had no idea, pet, that I was going to be buried alive in a month. Nor I. It's the very first I've heard of it. Well, it makes a difference, doesn't it? It makes a difference, of course. I mean, burial alive is such a stuff. I tried to tell her. <laughs> oh, well, it's such a stuffy death! Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a beast of a death! Oh, well, well, you see my difficulty then, don't you? Oh, I see your difficulty. Uh, uh, and I see my own! <laughs> if I insist on carrying out your promise, I doom you to hideous death! If oh. I release you, then you marry Coco at once. Hmm. Oh, here's how he do If I marry you When your time has come to perish Then the maiden whom you cherish Must be slaughtered too Here's how he do Here's how he do I so cute Here's a pretty mess In a month or less I must die without a wedding Let these bitter tears I'm shedding Witness my distress Here's a pretty mess Here's a pretty mess Here's a state of things, to her life she clings. Matrimonial devotion doesn't seem to suit her notion, burial it brings. Here's a state of things, here's a state of things. With the passion that's intense, you worship and adore. But the laws of common sense we often to ignore. If what he says is true, tis death to marry you. Here's a pretty state of things, here's a pretty howdy do. Here's a pretty state of things, a pretty state of things. Here's a howdy do. Here's a howdy do. For if what I say is true, I cannot, cannot marry you. Here's a pretty, pretty state of things. Here's a pretty howdy do. <laughs> oh, my poor boy. I'm really very sorry for you. Thanks, old fellow. I'm sure you are. I can't conceive of anything more distressing than to have one's marriage broken off at the last moment. But you shan't be disappointed of a wedding. You shall come to mine. It's awfully kind of you, but it's impossible. Oh, why so? Today I die. What do you mean? I can't live without Yum Yum. This afternoon I perform the happy dispatch. No, oh, pardon me, but I can't allow that. Why not? Why, well, hang it all, you're on the contract to die by the hand of the public execution in a month's time! If you kill yourself, what's to become of me? Well, I shall have to be executed in your place! It would certainly seem so! Oh. Oh, Coco! Coco! Lord Coco! Mayor. Coco! Lord Mayor, what is that? The Mikado and his suite are approaching the city and will be here in ten minutes! The Mikado! The Mikado! The Mikado! Ah! 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 He's coming to see whether his orders have been carried out. Now look here, you know, this is getting serious. A bargain's a bargain. You really mustn't frustrate the demands of justice by committing suicide. As a man of honor and a gentleman, you are bound to die ignominiously at the hand of the public executioner. Very well then, behead me. Uh, what's that? Certainly, head once. Uh, chop uh, it off, chop uh, it off. Oh my God, sir, I don't go about prepared to execute a gentleman at a moment's notice. Why, I never even killed a spider. Still, as Lord High Executioner, you are bound to... My good to... sir, uh, as Lord High Executioner, I've got to kill him in a month's time. I'm not ready yet. Hmm? I, I don't know how it's done. I'm going to take lessons. Uh, I mean, to begin with a, a spider and work my way up through the animal kingdom yes. until I come to a second trombone. Why, you don't suppose, as a, a humane man, I would have accepted the post of Lord High Executioner had I not thought the duties purely nominal. I can't... I can't kill you. <laughs> I can't kill anything. <laughs> I can't kill anybody! <laughs> oh. Come, my poor fellow! We all have unpleasant duties to discharge at times. 
After all, what is it? If I don't mind, why should you remember sooner or later? It must be done. <laughs> must it? it uh, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, what do you mean? Why should I kill you when making an affidavit that you've been killed <gasps> will do just as well? Here uh, are plenty of witnesses, the Lord High Admiral, the Chief Justice, Commander-in-Chief, First Lord of the Secretary, Judge Ordinary, First Lord of the Rolls, and First Commissioner of Police. But where are they? There they are. They'll all swear to it, won't you? Am I to understand that all of us high officers of state are to be willing to perjure ourselves to ensure your safety. Why not? You'll be grossly insulted, as usual. Will the insult be cashed down or on a deposit? It will be a ready money transaction. Mm. It will be a useful dis uh, discipline. Very well. Uh, choose your fiction and I'll endorse it. Uh, but I tell you that life without Yum Yum! Oh, Yum Yum, Yum Mr. Yum, bother Yum Yum. Commissioner, go and fetch Yum Yum. Yum Yum! Yum Yum! Take Yum Yum. Oh, yum, yum. Merry oh, Yum Yum. Oh, Only go away and never come back again! Oh, there you are, Yum Yum. Are you Ooh. particularly busy? Not particularly. You've five minutes to spare? Yes. Then go along with His Grace the Archbishop of Titipu. He shall marry you at once. But if I'm to be buried alive... Don't Shh. ask questions. Just go along, and Nanky Poo will explain everything. The Mikado is on his way, and if he finds you here, I shall have the greatest difficulty in persuading him that I've beheaded you. Close thing that, for here he comes. Kind of man, obedience I expect. I'm the Emperor of Japan. And I'm his daughter in law elect. He'll marry his son, he's only got one, to his daughter in law elect. My moles have been declared particularly correct. But they're nothing at all compared to those of his daughter in law elect. Bow! Bow! To his daughter in law elect. Bow, bow to his daughter in law elect. In a fuddly kind of way, I govern each tribe and sect. All cheerfully own my sway. Except his daughter in law elect. As tough as a bone with a will of her own is his daughter-in-law elect. My nature is love and light, my freedom from all defect. Are insignificant quite compared to his daughter-in-law elect. Bow, bow to his daughter-in-law elect. Bow, bow to his daughter-in-law elect. Humane Mikado never did in Japan To nobody second, I'm certainly to the It is my very humane endeavor to make to some extent 
Each evil liver a running river of harmless merry men. <laughs> My object all sublime, I shall achieve in time to let the punishment fit the crime, the punishment fit the crime, and make each prisoner pant, unwillingly represent a source of innocent merriment, of innocent merriment. I'm honored in being permitted to welcome your majesty. I guess the object of your majesty's visit, uh, your wishes have been attended to. The execution has taken place. Oh, you've had an execution, happy oh. question. Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, I've just received the certificate from the coroner. I am the coroner. Yes, yes, ah, yes, yes. Allow me. Read the line. Uh, and this is the certificate of death. Reads at Tiripu in the presence of the Lord Chancellor, Lord Chief Justice, Attorney General, Secretary for the State for the Home Department, Lord Mayor and Groom of the Second Floor Front Hyphen. Don't read this. <laughs> they were all present, Your Majesty. I counted them s myself. A very good house. I'd wish I'd been here in time for the performance. Mm. Oh, yes, a, a tough fellow he was, too. <laughs> uh, a man of gigantic strength. Oh. His struggles were terrific. It really was a remarkable scene. Yes. Describe it. The criminal cried as he dropped him down in a state of wild alarm. With a frightful, frantic, fearful frown, I bared my big right arm and squeezed him by his little pigtail and on his knee fell he. As he squirmed and struggled and gurgled and goggled, I drew my snickers knee. My snickers knee. Oh, never shall I forget the cry or the shriek that shrieked he ah! as I gnashed my teeth when from its sheath I drew my snickers knee. We know him well, he cannot tell untrue or groundless tales. He always tries to utter lies and every time he fails. He shivered and shook as he gave the sign for the stroke he didn't deserve. When all of a sudden his eye met mine Go. and it seemed to brace his nerve. For he nodded his head and kissed his hand and whistled an air did he. Then the saber true cut cleanly through his cervical vertebrae. His vertebrae. When a man's afraid, a beautiful maid is a cheering sight to see. And it's oh, I'm glad that moment sad was soothed by sight of me. A terrible tale you can't assail with truth, it quite agrees. A chance is sad for false is sad amounts to our disease. Now though you'd have said that Ed was dead, for his owner dead was he. <gasps> it stood on its neck with a smile well bred and bowed three times to me. It was none of your impudent tough and not but as humble as could be. For it clearly knew the deference due to a man of pedigree. Of pedigree. And it's, oh, I vow, this deathly bow was a touching sight to see. Though trunkless yet, it couldn't forget the deference due to me. His haughty youth, he speaks the truth whenever he finds it pays. And in this case, it all took place exactly as he I says. says. Exactly, 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 exactly.
All this is very, all this is very interesting. All this is very interesting, and I should like to have seen it, but we came about a completely different matter. A year ago, my son, the heir to the throne of Japan, bolted from our imperial court. <gasps> Had he any reason to be dissatisfied with his position? None whatever. On the contrary, I was going to marry him, yet he fled. I'm surprised he should flee from one so lovely. <laughs> That's not true! <laughs> you hold that I am unattractive because my face is plain. But you know nothing. You are still unenlightened. Learn then that it is not in the face alone that beauty is to be sought. My face is unattractive. It is. But, but I have a right, left shoulder blade that is a miracle of loveliness. People come from miles to see it. My right elbow has a fascination that few can resist. Allow me. No. It is on view, view. thank you, uh, upon visitation of pres visiting card, Tuesdays and Fridays! <laughs> what about your circulation? Oh yes, it's the largest in the world! And yet he fled! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Read your line. And there's no masquerading in this town disguised as a second trombone. Second trombone! A a second, second trombone! trombone. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> yes, would it be troubling you too much if I asked you to produce him? He goes by the name of... Nanky Poo! Nanky Poo. Oh, uh, that, 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 that's quite easy. Uh, in point of fact, it's rather difficult. He's gone uh, abroad. Uh, gone abroad, his address. Uh, Her hurricane. <laughs> no! No! Read your line! No! What's the matter? See here, his name, Nanky Poo, beheaded this morning. Where shall I find another? Where shall I find another? Uh, looking at paper, okay. dear, dear. Nope. Read your line. No. Uh, this Don't is read very the stage directions. But it's for the line. Jerry. Uh, to Coco, my poor fellow, in your anxiety to carry out my wishes, you have beheaded the throne to the heir of Japan. Oh, please uh, uh, accept my abject, unqualified apology. Oh, <gasps> I wish to associate myself with this apology. We really hadn't the least notion. <sighs> of course you hadn't. How could you? Come, come, my good fellow. Don't distress yourself. It was no fault of yours. If a man of exalted rank chooses to disguise himself as a second trombone, oh. he must take the consequences. <sighs> it really distresses me to see you take on so. I've no doubt he thoroughly deserved all he got. We are infinitely much obliged, obliged to your majesty. majesty. Very much obliged, your majesty. Uh, obliged, not a bit. Don't mention it. How could you tell? <laughs> well, we couldn't really tell who the gentleman oh, really was. It wasn't written on his forehead, you know. Uh, it <laughs> might have been written on his pocket handkerchief, but the Japanese don't use pocket handkerchief. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I forget the punishment for compassing the heir to the death of the heir to the parent. Punishment! Ah! Uh, yeah, something, something lingering yes. with, with boiling oil yes. in it. Ah! Oh! 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 Uh, oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Oh, sorry. What happened? I ah! go, 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 go. You do, you do something. Come on, we gotta get you. Oh, oh my god. Go, I say his words. Get him out of it. Get him out of it. Get him out of it. Out of it. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Pull him off the what stage. stage. Look, look, oh, look what you have done! You have made him so tired! Get off my state! And he's faint! He's taken faint and must yes. be taken away oh, yes. because you have murdered his son! No. And now we are so you mean. will all die! Oh. Yes, each one of you, I will kill you, each one of you! But, yes! But may we eat lunch first? Yes, can't we have lunch first? Yes, that was the next line! Lunch! Thank oh you. my, what Thank is you. that? 
Terry, what are you? Yeah, what? the great Mikado. What are you saying? No, no, no. See, oh. the other fates their gifts a lot. For A is happy, B is not. Yet B is worthy, I dare say, of more prosperity than A. Is B more worthy? I should say he's worth a great deal more than A. Yet A is happy, oh so happy, laughing, ha ha, shopping, ha ha, nectar, cropping, ha ha ha, well, a joyous ever gay, happy, undeserving A, well, a joyous ever gay, happy, undeserving Fortune, which I'm not, be should enjoy A's happy lot, and A should die in misery. That is assuming I am B. But should A perish, that should be, of course, assuming I am B. He should be happy, oh so happy, laughing, ha ha, chaffing, ha ha, nectar, quaffing, ha ha ha. But condemned to die is he, wretched merit, oh yes, he. But condemned to die is he, wretched merit, oh yes, he. Well, that's a nice mess you got us into with your nodding head and deference due to a man of pedigree. Merely corroborative detail intended to give artistic verisimilitude to an otherwise bald and unconvincing narrative. Corroborative detail, indeed. Corroborative fiddlestick! Oh, and you're just as bad as he is with your cockable stories <laughs> about catching his eye and whistling in air. That's so like you, you must put in your oar. And how about you and your big right arm? Yes, and your sneaker sneeze! Will, 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 never mind that. There's only one thing to be done. Nicky Poo hasn't started yet. He must come to life again at once. Here he comes. Here, Nicky Poo, Nicky Poo, Nicky Poo. I have good news for you. You're reprieved. <laughs> <laughs> but that's impossible. I'm a dead man, and I'm off on my honeymoon. Uh, nonsense. Something terrible has happened. It appears you are the son of the Mikado. Yes, but that happened some time ago. <laughs> Why is this a time for early persiflage? You, your father's here and with Kadisha. I'm sorry, that was an impulse. I just... You know how to... My father! We go. And with Kadisha! Ow! Stop! 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 I know. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, he wants you particularly. So does she. Oh, but he's married now. But bless my heart, what has that to do with it? <sighs> bless my heart, what has that to do with it? <laughs> But bless my heart! Katasha claims me in marriage, but I can't marry her because I'm married already. Consequently, she will insist on my execution. But if I'm executed, my wife will have to be buried alive. You see our difficulty? Yes. I don't know what's to be done. There's one thing for you. If you could persuade Katasha to marry you, I would have no further... I could come to life without any fear of being put to death. I? Yes, that's true. Mary Cattishaw? Oh, no, 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 no. But I really think it's the only Oh, but my girl, have you seen her? She's something appalling. Ah, uh, but that is only her face. She has a left 
elbow oh. that people come miles to see. And I'm told that her right heel is something admired by connoisseurs. My good sir, I decline to pin my heart upon any woman's right heel. It comes to this. While Katisha is single, I prefer to be a disembodied spirit. When she is married, existence will be as welcome as the flowers in spring. <laughs> The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra-la, breathe promise of merry sunshine. As we merrily dance and we sing, tra-la, we welcome the hope that they bring, tra-la, of a summer of roses and wine, of a summer of roses and wine. And that's what we mean when we say that a thing is welcome as flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, the flowers that bloom in the spring. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la. The flowers that bloom in the spring, tra la, have nothing to do with this case. I've got to take under my wing, tra-la, a most unattractive old thing, tra-la, with a caricature of a face, with a caricature of a face. And that's what I mean when I say or I sing, oh bother the flowers that bloom in the spring, tra-la, na 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 tra na 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 bother the flowers of spring. You go to hell. The miscreant who robbed me of my love, but vengeance pursues. They are hating the cauldron. Uh, oh, Katisha, Katisha, oh, uh, whoa, Katisha, <laughs> behold the suppliant at your feet. Mercy, Katisha. Oh, mercy? Had you mercy on him? See here, you, you have slain my love. He did not love me, but he would have. In time, <laughs> I'm an acquired taste. Only an educated palate can appreciate me. I was educating this palate when he left me. Well, now he's dead. And where shall I find another? It takes years to train a man to love me. Ooh. Am I to go the weary rounds and at the same time implore mercy for you who robbed me of my prey? Oh, I mean, my pupil. Just as his education was nearing completion. Oh. Where shall I find another? <laughs> Here. Here. <laughs> what? Katisha, for years I have loved you with a white hot passion that is slowly but surely consuming my very vitals. <laughs> ah, shrink not from me. If there is aught of woman's mercy in your heart, turn not away a lovesick suppliant whose every fiber thrills at your tiniest touch. <laughs> oh, true it is that under a, a poor mask of disgust, I have endeavored to conceal a passion whose inner fires were broiling the soul within me. But the fire will not be smothered. It defies all attempts at extinction and breaking forth all the more eagerly for its long restraint. It declares itself in words that will not be weighed, that cannot be schooled. That should not be too severely criticized. Oh, Katisha, I cannot hope for your love, but I will not live without it, darling. You, whose hands still reek with the blood of my betrothed, dare to address words of passion. <laughs> 
To a woman you have so foully wronged. I do. Oh. Accept my love or I perish on the spot. Go to who knows so well as I that no one ever yet died of a broken heart. You know not what you say. No. Listen. No. No. On a tree by a river, a little tom tit saying, Willow, tit willow, tit willow. And I said to him, Dicky Bird, why do you sit singing, Willow, tit willow, tit willow? Is it weakness of intellect, birdie? I cried, or a rather tough worm on your little inside? With a shake of his poor little head, he replied, Oh, Willow, <laughs> did Willow, did Willow. <laughs> he slapped at his chest as he sat on that bough, singing, Willow, did Willow, did Willow. And a cold perspiration bespangled his brow. Oh, willow, did willow, did willow. He sobbed and he sighed and a gurgle he gave. Then he threw himself into the billowy wave. And an echo arose from the suicide's grave. Oh, No, I feel just as sure as I'm sure that my name isn't Willow, tit Willow, tit Willow. That was blighted affection that made him exclaim, Oh, Willow, tit Willow, tit Willow. And if you remain callous and obdurate, I shall perish as he did, and you will know why. Though I probably shall not exclaim as I die. Oh, Willow, did Willow, did Willow. <laughs> 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 Did he really die of love? He really did. <laughs> and all on account of a cruel little hen. Yes. Poor little chap. <laughs> it's an affecting tale. I knew the bird intimately. Did you? Yes. He must have been very fond of her. His devotion was something extraordinary. Poor little chap. And, and if I refuse you, will you go and do the same? At once. No, uh, no, 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 no. No. Anything but that. Oh, I'm a silly oh, little oh. goose. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and, and you won't refuse me just because I'm a teeny, weeny, wee bit. Bloodthirsty, <laughs> will you? Ah, <laughs> oh, Katisha, is there not beauty even in bloodthirstiness? Oh, my idea, exactly! Oh. There is beauty in the bellow of the bus. There is grandeur in the growling of the gale. There is eloquent aporia when the lion is roaring and the tiger is a lashing of his tail. Yes, I like to see a tiger from the Congo or the Niger and especially when lashing of its tail. Volcanoes have a grandeur that is glim and earthquakes only terrify the dolts. But to him who's scientific, there is something that's terrific in the falling of the fight of thunderbolts. Yes, in spite of all my weakness, if I had a little weakness, it's a passion for the flight of thunderbolts. If that is so, sing Derry down Derry, it's evident Very our tastes are one Away we'll go and merrily merry No toddling to Derry till day is done Oh, I got oh. your bum, oh. you silly boy uh, come, here. come and get uh, me uh, rah, rah. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, don't, don't get it, don't get it Are you old enough to marry, do you think? Though you'd fancy early enough 
information I'm requesting on a subject interesting is made in all the bad when she talk. On subject interesting, scary and fun, so I don't believe. Are you old enough to marry, do you think? Won't you wait until you're 80 in the shade? There's a fascination frantic in a ruin that's romantic. Do you think you are sufficiently educated? To the matter you have mentioned, I have given some attention, and I think I am sufficiently decayed. There we go. If that, that is so, sing Derry down Derry. It's evident, very our tastes are one. Away we will go and merrily, merry, nor toddly, Terry, tell day is done. If that is so, sing Derry down Derry. It's evident, very our tastes are one. Away we will go and merrily, merry, nor toddly, Terry, tell day is done. Sing Derry down Derry, will merrily, merry, toddly, Terry, tell day. Is done. Pinchies. Every time I want to pinch you, come here, you. Let me pinch you. Out. Now then, we've had a capital lunch, and we're quite ready. Have all the painful preparations been made? Yes. <laughs> then produce the unfortunate gentleman and his two well-meaning but misguided accomplices. But it's, it's... Oh, you're right. The Ricardo fell down. Uh, let, me, let me pick you up. In, he's Wait. broken. It's broken. Oh. Well, it's he's, broken. He's, shut up. Uh, um. <laughs> oh. Do it, Ray. Okay. Uh, I, got, I, got I beg your pardon, no, sir. Hi. Would you, you mind helping us just for a moment? Yes, please. please. Yes, thank you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, the Mikado of Japan. Japan. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Oh, I am the great Mikado. Stand right. <laughs> I put it on and I'm everything! Sorry, I'm I was gonna be the cop! Tell me! Shut up! Well, Jerry. with such an unlucky <laughs> turn of events, <laughs> upon the, the death Did and burial of Mikado of Japan, we You're found another. You're giving him a back You're gonna later. go ahead and... What is your name? Okay. And whose yeah, name no, it makes sense. is Pete the Great Mikado! <laughs> uh, and yeah. you, Mikado yeah. of North Ancestral uh, Line. Fancy and lucky, this. Quite lucky. Oh. Shh. Okay. 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 Raise it, raise it. Uh, ah! Mercy! Mercy for Coco! Mercy for Pity Sing! Mercy even for Pooba! Duck! I beg your pardon. I don't think I quite caught that remark. <laughs> Mercy even for Pooba! Raise it, raise it. Raise it. And I have just married this miserable object. <laughs> oh, you've not been long about it. Oh, no. <laughs> we were married before the registrar. Yes. I am the registrar. Yes. I see. But my difficulty is that as you have slain the heir apparent... The heir apparent is no hard slain. <gasps> yes, my heart, my son. Ah. Traitor, you have to see this! You are entitled to a little explanation. Oh. But I think you have to learn in pieces. Your, your yes. Majesty, it's like this. It is true that I said I had killed Nankipu. Oh. Yes, but... with most affecting particulars. <laughs> ah, yes, oh. merely corroborative detail intended to give artistic merit to another one. Will you refrain from putting one? in your awe? Your Majesty, it's like this. When your Majesty says, let a thing be done, uh, that thing is as good as done, because your, your majesty's will is law. Uh, your majesty says, let a gentleman be killed, and a gentleman is told off to be killed. Consequently, he's as good as dead. Practically, he is dead. And if he is dead, why not say so? I see. Nothing could possibly be more satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> for he's gone and married, yum yum. Yum yum. Your anger, pray very, for all will be merry. I think you had better succumb. 
Come, come, come on. And join our expressions of glee. On this subject, I pray you be dumb. Dumb, dumb. Your notions, though many, are not worth a penny. The word for your guidance is mum. Mum, mum. You have a very good bargain in me. On this subject, we pray you be dumb. Dumb, dumb. We think you had better succumb. Come, come. You'll find there are many who went for a penny. Who went for a penny. There are lots of Fish in the sea, there are lots of good fish in the sea. There's lots of good fish, good fish in the sea. There's lots of good fish, good fish in the sea, in the sea, in the sea, in the sea, in the sea. Oh, honey, are you? The threatened cloud has passed away. What though the night may come too soon? There's years and years of afternoon. Then let the throng rejoice. Then let the throng rejoice. With laughing song, laughing song. And let the throng of joy advance with laughing song and merry dance, with laughing song and merry dance, with laughing song. With joy, a shout of joy, a shout and ringing cheer. Inaugurate, inaugurate their new career with joy, a shout and ringing cheer. Inaugurate their new career with joy, a shout and ringing cheer. Inaugurate their new career with laughing song and merry Ha, ha, ha.